I do feel like this game is going to be the most interesting in the series thus far. Because we finally have a situation where we're probably not going to see uh, light cap from both players. I'm sure it's possible that FedEx could convert light cap, but I just don't believe that will be easy. Babarama is the Sicilians, a civilization which has its strengths, uh, but it's particularly strong in the late game. Uh, their farms have more food on them for after their farm upgrades. That takes time to pay off. You do build your TCs a bit faster, your castles a bit faster. Um, their tech tree is a little bland, but they have variety, right? So they can go for archers like arbalests and skirmishers. Um, they can go for cavalier, which can be very tanky. But I actually think, guys, the sergeants could be really good in this matchup. And we might see sergeants, and then we might see, as a counter to the sergeant, jaguar warriors. Oh, excitement! Craziness! We'll see. In the past, in old arena meta, we'd see, like, three barracks, uh, eagles, and a ton of monks, and, like, all in from the Aztecs. We don't see that too much these days. Because back then, people didn't really go have the clean light cap builds. Um, and the light cap build can do decently against it. But FedEx was around back then. FedEx has been around a long time. I could see him maybe feeling like he can't boom like the Sicilians, and that this should be an aggressive type of game. Honestly, wouldn't mind it. Again, if you're adding TCs and the Sicilians are doing the same, the Sicilians would be faster. The Sicilians have some brilliant get-out-of-jail-free cards later on in the game. Uh, or one in particular, the First Crusade. Right? If their TCs are up and you're finally starting to get some value with the pressure and suddenly they hit First Crusade and bam! A bunch of units instantly. That could kind of help them stabilize and take map control back. If there was ever a world where we're going to see YOLO Eagles into the monks and even just Rams and Castlage, I think this honestly might be it. I don't think it fits FedEx's playstyle. He loves economy too much. Now, I don't think we'll see a dungeon rush. But hey, I mean, if Baba Rams gets pressured at all, these golds are very far forward. Like, this is a really bad map. The stone being on the back could be valuable, though. So that is a pro if he needs a castle at some point. Um, One sec. I'm just going to double check on something on my other screen. Okay, cool. Will there ever be a best of five 1v1 force nothing tournament? Do you think you'd really stick around to watch 1v1 force nothing best of five? I don't think a 1v1 force nothing would be interesting. I think team game force nothing could be really good. Because, and I'm not trying to tease anything here, but there are communities out there that play a lot of team games and force nothing. Now, typically they do it on turbo mode and faster speed, so it's just, it's kind of a different game altogether, but... There was a show match. I didn't cast it, but it was some of these Forest Nothing guys, right? This Forest Nothing community against Gamer Legion. So Viper, Doubt, Tato. I forget if it was 3v3 or 4v4. Anyways, did not go very well for the pros. I don't know if they won a single game. All the clips and, and highlights I saw from it was literally just various players on Gamer Legion being defeated and asking for help. It was not close. <laughs> so... Yeah, I would love to... Um, I'm trying to work with them to maybe sponsor something and put something on. I think it'd be really cool to have some competitive Force Nothing. 1v1 Force Nothing, though, I think... Again, if you're doing just standard settings, I, I think it would be... I, I think it would lose its charm rather quickly. <laughs> Alright, so FedEx has clicked up. Now, he's gone two to gold in a situation where he could have just gone for one... But no, no, no. He went to gold late, so it's completely fine. Aztecs start with 150 gold, which is why I mention it. I don't think he's going to go YOLO. I think this is just going to be a blacksmith and going to be a market. The goal for him is going to be to get as many relics as possible. He's got two that are close to his base, and then three are closer to the enemy, though. And it just makes so much sense to go for stables again, if you're Baba. Go for scouts to kill any monks getting relics because you have to keep Aztecs off of relics. They get 33% more gold per relic. And then drop town centers. Think about it. That build is just farms, which suits Sicilians, and town centers suits Sicilians. So it is the build for Sicilians, I think, on Arena. 
All right. So we're probably going to see a little bit of market shenanigans for FedEx. Market Blacksmith. Now, what's nice is if you want something other than just your eagle to compete, if you want additional eagles, you could build the barracks after you're on the way to Castle Age. Because that building is not a feudal age building. Obviously, in this case, you need the barracks early if you're Baba. Because you then, you need the barracks before the stable. So he's going to go stable. He did go stable market in the previous game, and I'd like to see that again. But maybe you want the blacksmith here, actually, because you might end up wanting blacksmith upgrades against eagles. He is going to do the blacksmith. I think he thought about that. Because it's either, like, minimal investment, hope you get relics and boom from FedEx, or crazy investment. Very curious, again, to see if he's going to add a barracks here. Yo, Casey, what's up? Welcome back. Happy Saturday, if it is Saturday for you. I think it's Saturday for most right now. And there goes Baba Realm on the way to Castle Age later, but with some pretty clean eco. And look at how much food is going to be on this farm after horse collar, guys. Just horse collar. Normally, it doesn't add that much. Woof, 344 food. It's insane. So the thing is, it's not faster, right? You have to invest into it. Where that starts to feel strong is when your farms would normally reseed. So, like, whenever FedEx's farm, where's his farm? Is this a new farm? I think this is a... No, 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 it's not a new farm. Or at least it's not a new horse color farm. But anyways, right around that time as we see double barracks. Ooh, hype. Um, When farms would reseed is when Sicilians start to float a lot of wood. And then it could lead to more TCs and more military buildings. But it doesn't, you don't really feel it for a while. Whereas other bonuses, like Aztecs creating military faster, for example, starting in feudal. You're, you're just, you're experiencing those bonuses. And players are able to take advantage of them more. Can he spot anything here? Mm, he's looking. I think he might have seen the eagle. Okay, now he sees the monastery. And the eagles are out now. And the eagles should stay out here because you get seven attack on those eagles when you make it to castle. So he hid because in feudal they're weaker. Now in castle they are the better unit in a 1v1 until upgrades come in. Like I said, Aztec production is pretty insane. We've got pretty clean build up thus far for FedEx. And he just badly wants those relics right now. We rarely see the eagle warrior upgrade in these instances because that costs too much food. Uh, we sometimes see armor or squires. And there's squires now. Makes sense because the scouts are just so much faster currently. And Baba Ram is waiting by the gate because he wants to snipe the monk. But more realistically, he's waiting to see if he could kill any individual eagles that are meeting up with the main group. Wow, 300 HP for both armies here. Whoa, look at that. But the eagles do a little bit of bonus damage against the cab, I think. Okay, that eagle just got stuck. Did you see that? Hold on a second. I gotta go back and look at that. It looked like he was stuck in his buddy's dead body. Can we go back for a sec? Whoa, 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 whoa. He is, like, lunging forward. What in the world? Okay, so look at this. He patrols in on attack stance. That guy's stuck there in the middle. He's trying to attack. He's he's still lunging. And he just froze. So, okay. Now, this is on the previous patch. There was a patch two days ago where they said they fixed pathing. They do say that on every patch. But that's worth noting. I haven't played enough on the new patch to know if it's better. <laughs> but that sucks for FedEx because that could have, in theory, helped him take a little bit more HP off. We're not even in theory, right? In practice. No second TC for FedEx yet. No second TC for Baba Rum yet. And wow. Also, because you have so much wood on, or so much food on your farms anyways, I think skipping heavy plow with Sicilians is more than fine. Just put all that food and wood towards other things. <laughs> dried blood gets sticky. Yeah, the blood dried real fast. The blood dried on his foot as he was running through his buddy's corpse. 
Okay, so Aztec monks, they get 5 HP for every monk tech research, and Sanctity was just researched, which adds 15 HP. So, it, if you do the math there, it should take you to where we're at, at 50 HP. That could be a conversion. Still, though, I think these monks are just way out of their element. And great work from Baba Rum. I love the amount of light Cav he has, and I like his patience here, but that eagle count is massing. Will we see a second stable? Or will we see forging or bloodlines or anything? That's a lot of eagles, man. And so far, he's he hasn't lost a unit, but... It's 12 eagles versus 8 light Cav. And these units have the same amount of HP. Oh, no, they don't. Excuse me. Look at the micro. Looking for a monk there. L look at this. Pulling the weak one away here. Killing an eagle. Wow, that micro. I'm seeing the Arabia in Baba Rum right now. That was epic. Also, did lose a monk here, though. FedEx. Good work from him to kill the monk. One relic for both right now. Second TC's up for Baba Rum. Second TC's about to complete for FedEx. Close game. A very different game in terms of the units, at least, compared to the other ones. Um, FedEx was hoping the gate would open. It did not, but he gets a unit kill. And these eagles will likely die. They're not going to be able to get out of here easily. Baba Rum's going to try and block him off. And FedEx... I don't know if that was a pathing thing or if he really wanted to loop back to get that monk. Could be both. He's got more eagles on the way. He's got so many. But he has one less now because that was converted. I still think I would like to see forging in these instances, but I think Baba Rum has been as patient as he should be. Did not see that monk, though. So maybe FedEx could get there. Also, I think husbandry would be worth it. You're already faster, but a little bit of extra speed isn't going to hurt. 2-2 two to two on Relic, so this is the final Relic, and that Monk's going to get it. Yeah, if he runs back immediately, nice job from Baba Rum. Very impressive. But map control is still going to be so important here long term. And oh boy, I prefer the Eagles there. Baba Rum doesn't open the gate. I, I would have maybe run in. I think Baba Rum's played very impressive here. I I'm really liking how he's playing it, but FedEx has played so good as well, man. This is a great game. It's like FedEx has had so many eagles, right? And two relics with Aztecs is still fine. You're still bringing in more gold than your opponent right now. I think now we could potentially see upgrades. Now you really need to st mine stone like a madman if you're Baba Rum so you can defend from this. He's four TCs. Four freaking town centers. Now what he doesn't know is that there's a siege push coming. Will we see a ram or will it be a siege tower? Siege tower could be epic. But it's going to be ram instead because... You want to be able to leave if the situation's not good for you as far as the fights are concerned. Siege Tower doesn't give you a way back. They should bring a ladder with them. <laughs> okay, Light Cavs see the Eagles. This is where if I have a market, I'm buying the stone right now. He does not have a market. Oh, man. Oh, panic. Can he cancel a farm? Can he? What can he do to get wood for a market? Oh... Uh... So many eagles from FedEx. And then relics are right there, too. And there's three monks just waiting. He's going to run back with the relics. Smart move. Get out of here, old men. Get out of here. Get the relics and run. Or power walk. Or whatever you consider that to be. See the panic from Baba Rum? He's going to drop a, uh, a dungeon here. Because he didn't have the stone for a castle. He's dropping a barracks. He's clicked man-at-arms. He's getting supplies. Because he believes this is an all-in in Castle Age from FedEx. Because from what he could see, this has to be an all-in, right? There's no way that FedEx could be on the way to the Imperial Age. But he is. And he shifted over to stone. And so this army, just the presence of it, has completely scared Baba Ram and ruined his plans, at least for now. But, the, okay, Villager's gone down. That's nice. That's our first eco kill in the game. You still have your relics, which is really important. I don't know where the new monastery is. Um, oh, there. Well, I, hopefully he sees them. I, he will have small trees. And FedEx can't exactly drop a castle forward just yet. 
But, you know, that's what FedEx wants to do. And I think if he could get the Vils across now, with Eagle Warrior upgrade coming in, he should be able to drop a forward castle. And again, maybe Longswords and Sergeants end up coming out. Monks are going to go down to the Light Cap. Good work there from Baba. It's just so many Eagles. And Longswords and Sergeants are pretty slow, but let's see. Here we go. Oh, FedEx didn't realize. FedEx didn't realize that's a bad fight for FedEx. Oh, and the Vils were coming to drop the castle. The castle could still go up, but it's risky now. Boy, this has been a great game. Drop a castle next to it. Baba, drop it here. Win the fight, drop it here. Castle is castle. It seems ridiculous. Do it. Do it. Deny his castle with your own castle. Go, 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 go. That is such a gutsy play if he does it. How epic would that be, though? He's going to back up. But he doesn't want... He did. He's scared because his opponent's an imp. So he backs it up even more. Can you imagine, guys? I actually think... A counter castle there wins in the game. But it also could look really bad. And it was, you know, in the heat of the moment there. So, what a fun game this is. Eco lead is there for Baba Rum, though. And FedEx has to Baba run away from these sergeants. In the end, adding the additional army was a good call. It, it you know, stopped FedEx from doing things in a way that just going for the light calf would not have done. But FedEx wanted a forward castle so we could go Trebs. And I think now is when you want First Crusade, right? First Crusade is absolutely the play here. It's a Castle Age tech. You get five units from each TC. You need more military right now. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think you just go first crusade. Oh, man. Don't tell me you're going to lose a trebuchet here. FedEx, you do not want to lose this treb. I think he's got a vill there. The vill's repairing it. Baba Ram's going to be happy to take that fight, though, because he is clearing out a lot of eagles. FedEx is going to be primarily focused on monks. Also, don't sergeants have a bonus where they can't be converted as easily? Can someone correct me if I'm wrong there? I think First Crusade makes so much more sense. He might still do it. And also a couple of Jaguar Warriors from FedEx's castle would make sense. But oh man, don't tell me the Treb's gonna go down. The Treb's gonna go down to the Castle Age units. And FedEx, he still needs some time to get those monks rolling. Remember, he doesn't have near as good of an economy as the Sicilians, but also he hasn't been investing into his economy in the same way. And there is First Crusade. Oh, so First Crusade gives conversions resistance. Well, then there's two reasons to get it. It's actually perfect. So he will go... You only get five from each TC now. But when that tech completes, he's going to go up to 23 sergeants. And I think FedEx is in big trouble here. Oh, wait, sorry. He had a TC over here as well. So he has five TCs. So he's in 28 sergeants because he just got plus 25. And he's going to use the market... And he's going to research Elite Sergeant in the castle that he still has. And remember that I said earlier that Sicilians just have that great potential to bail themselves out of a bad situation? We definitely see it here. And I have... You better get to clicking to get conversions. Also, this villager... <laughs> what a beast. <laughs> he's attacking the stairs. <laughs> uh, convert it. <laughs> I guess you don't want to waste a conversion on a peasant. <laughs> All right. Well, there's about to be 13 monks. And if you engage against this, you need to delete your own walls. Oh, they're repairing before the fight. That's funny. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Also, random dead deer. I don't know how that happens at this stage of the game. If you let the Aztec player get enough monks, it could be dangerous. But he wants to mix in Cav as well to snipe those monks. And mass his own Treb so he could push down this castle. So he's... I probably would take the fight right there because I'm worried this is going to get worse. I don't necessarily know if it's good to take a fight now or not. That's just my feeling of it. He's just like, well, I have economy. I might as well make more. Why not make Light Cav first before I engage? But, you know, it's going to be... 
18 monks pretty soon. I know he's got units, and monks are hard to control, but still. This might be your time. And I, I want to see a send the message type of fight, and that's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, you just delete all your walls. We don't need the walls. These walls weren't saving me from you. They're saving you from me. There we go. Wow. Does First Crusade add conversion resistance on all units or just sergeants? Things I need to double check on. But big engagement. The sergeants will wreck the eagles. They have so much armor, so much attack. They have more HP. And these old men, they're trying, man. They're really trying. They look really cool with what they're doing. But it's just not going to be enough. The Aztecs used to be one of the best arena civilizations that exploited them similar to the meta in the past. But Babaram wins the game, and this was a really fun one. Okay, so it's all units as well. Wow. So actually, Sicilians are a really good matchup against Aztecs in many ways, I think, then. That first crusade is incredibly relevant. This might be the most... Hmm, how do I word this? Obviously, we've seen First Crusade in many instances since the Sicilians were introduced. Um, but this might actually be the, the most relevant use of First Crusade I think I've ever seen. It would make sense against monks and against eagles, as sergeants are helpful in those instances against eagles. And then conversion resistance is more helpful against the monks. Yeah, and we also saw the Sicilian economy look really strong. I think we saw what the Aztecs were able to do with the eagles and the rams. But yeah. So, in hindsight, I'm really glad that there wasn't an immediate counter castle. Where was it? Uh, here. I think if he goes immediately, he denies this castle, and then FedEx is an imp without a castle, because Sicilians build there so much faster. But it's also a great way to throw the game, and so he didn't need to take the risk there. Um, still would have been an epic play. Um... That, the first two games were honestly kind of just boomy and boring, and there wasn't a lot strategically to talk about. This game had a lot more strategy, so uh, this will probably hit the main channel on YouTube later. I hope people enjoyed this one. Uh, if you want the full best of five, it is already on the extras channel, so you could check out the full best of five there. But this is an elimination match in Masters of Arena, so uh, if FedEx doesn't win the next two games, he is out of this tournament. And Baba, I'm hoping to stay alive right now.